it was still more no it was early morning because i was in the middle of services when it started yes you are yeah. and i started my services at like 6 a.m okay and i think we were planning on just going out after aguilar's after that okay yep that was basically All right. the plan and y'all do have a map to the aguilar game yeah uh, place all right, so as you as you kind of look over the map of the Aguilar Gang's place, um, it uh, it it looks like it's a a good a good uh bit out of town, maybe a day's ride out of town. It's a place called Howard's Farm. Um, bless you, Omicron. Thank you. <laughs> Omicron. <laughs> um, it's a place called you had, Howard's you Farm. Had to clap too. <laughs> but uh, yes, and it's about it's about a day's ride out of town. It could be a, a quarter, uh, three quarters of a day's ride if you push yourself. Um, you know, you ride without stopping and stuff like that. Um, well, we could go over there and camp. And then try to sneak up at dawn. If that's the way you would like to do it. So everybody, you're going, so you kind of like saddle up. You get your, you get your, you know, I'm assuming that you've got some kind of trail rations and stuff that you, that you're going to take, right? Yeah, I'm going to go get some travel clothes and um, pick up a, uh, not right. so my, uh, get my horse yeah need that everybody's got a horse now right yep. yep yeah okay so um as uh as your first day uh well not his first day as you as you start to getting ready and everything everybody gets their gets their stuff up and um you'll start riding out um and as you're riding out uh by uh, fat Linda's because you store your horse in the stables. Um, there's a certain lady outside of Fat Linda's that's waving at at the four of y'all going out of town. Um, and y'all notice it's Trixie, and she's looking peculiarly, uh, peculiarly, she's looking at uh peculiarly, peculiarly at, at Brother Fly. <laughs> And um, she 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 kind of blows him a kiss. I ride faster. <laughs> <laughs> if brother follow rides faster. Ooh, we miss him. We're missing somebody. Else. Brother Fly actually farts. <laughs> At that point, I think I was farting. It's fine. Oh. Do a little two on way out the door. Who Thought Alan just would pull the scarf up over his nose. <laughs> uh, you, uh, Matt, you're not in roll twenty, are you? I was just pulling it up just now. Okay, I was fixing to say we're missing somebody. I couldn't figure out who was missing. Mm -hmm. and Brother Fly needs another Benny. Oh, I, I, uh... oh, speaking of Bennies, I'm glad you said that. So yeah, um, at this point, Benny purchase. Well, I thought you made one last last week, didn't you? Well, no, I didn't. I I saved up. Because I wanted to get the, the fan the hammer, yeah. um, um, skill. Okay. But then when I was I was looking up, I saw one that was called uh, shoot from the hip. Okay. Which said which said that if you were seasoned and you had a shooting skill of at least a D eight, um, you would get fan the hammer automatically. Uh, okay. At minus at minus two. All right. So I wanted to see if I could just get the shooter at the hip. That'll be fine. Okay. And that, uh, how much is that going to cost? Is that a five penny cost? Yeah, yeah, it's a five penny okay. cost. It's a season, it's season, right. right? Yeah. Yeah, five pennies. So that's what I got now. Okay. So, so before we start this, let's uh, let's go over to Benny's and Benny, Quartermain, You have eighteen accumulated and eight on hand, correct? Mm-hmm. All yep. right, Carl, Carlton, you have. 15 accumulated and 15 on hand. Is that correct? Right. Uh, Angus, you have 18 and, well, you don't, you don't have any now. You have 18 accumulated and you just spent five on your, on your thing. So you, 
and then Brother Fly, you have 15 and 13 on hand. Is that correct? I've used 15. You've I used believe. 15. Okay. And I had two left. So you had 17. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure that I had yours. Okay. All right. Cool deal. So everybody's got three to start off the game with. Okay. So everybody, um, before you leave town, you notice a cool, um, cool, cool breeze start to blow through town. Um, everybody give me like a notice roll. No, a common knowledge roll, I guess. Is there a survival? Do we have survival? A survival thing? Four. Uh, let's see. Survival is a skill. Okay. Well, if you've got survival, give me a survival. Do not. <laughs> okay. Um, Does anybody have survival? Uh, maybe. Uh, no. Definitely not. Okay. Well, yeah, then if you don't... Anybody had it, probably quarter main. Yeah. I should yeah, I guess. Guess. <laughs> Give me a common knowledge then. Uh Colonel Angus, you did pretty well. Quartermain. Come you wanna on. give me one or you just wanna <laughs> Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah. Um so uh Colonel Angus, you, you look at the skies and you look up there and you tell the rest of the group and says you say, Looks like a blizzard's coming up. Um, Do we have appropriate you, clothing? Uh, that's one thing that you would... I I don't know. Do you have appropriate clothing? I don't think you do. I don't think you've bought cold weather clothing. No. I did uh, not. Let's head back to town and buy cold weather gear. Well, well you're still in town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good thing I mean, I, I see that. It's like cold blizzards coming in, boys. We should get some proper cold weather clothes. All We're right. still on the big map. Uh, my bad. Do, 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 do. There you go. And this what the year? I hope that doesn't qualify as dry goods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't either. Um, I'm trying to pull up the gear table. Like maybe that's a Smith and Robards or a General Goods. Uh so ooh. what's a Assayer? And Assayer, that's who trades in the gold. I mean the ghost rock for Okay. Um so it looks like uh I'm not gonna go with what's what's in the book here. Um the winter gear is gonna be 30 bucks a piece that that gives you a a big thick fur lined jacket and um well that it's it's just a fur lined jacket that'll that'll give you a plus one on your vigor rolls against the cold they've got right. these in stock yeah i'm also going to gear up three extra canteens extra canteens that'll that'll be yeah like i'm gonna bless one of them with holy water all right, that's that's five gold, five dollars per canteen. Okay. Yeah, um, not gold. So is everybody getting? Everybody's getting a a thing. A, mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So y'all start heading out of town, and you get. You get two to three miles out of town. The wind starts blowing a little bit colder, and you, it's it, you probably traveled. No, nah, no, you I say more than two to three miles. You've gone probably about a quarter of a day, and it starts getting cold, real cold. And um, the wind starts blowing real hard, and it starts to lightly snow in in the area. Um. Everybody make me a riding roll. That's good. Wild die gets you, Matt. Did you roll? Oh, no, that's unskilled. Is that, was that your riding roll? 
Right, right. So what do you want me to do? Uh, you do an unskilled. Gotcha. He, he didn't tear his other ball off. <laughs> I don't. Was that quarter I don't think that was his riding yeah. role. I think that was his common knowledge role or survival. Yeah, that was the last time. Quarter man, get on your horse, boy. Skilled. Just right above all your skills, it should be, should say just unskilled. Might need to take some horse riding lessons one of these days, <laughs> preacher. <laughs> oh, negative okay. one. So, wow, a negative one. So, well, as I mean, like, it's a zero, and then it's my wild dice <laughs> negative one. I like a wild dot. Oh, I guess I'll just, uh, yeah. So, as you, as you, right, well, I still got to wait on quarter main, too. But as you, yeah, as you start ahead. riding, what's that? I'm just get here to okay. see how terrible it is. Oh, wow. Two negative one. Nah, uh, you got a two. Still fails. Um, so as y'all start riding, um, hold on. Just... You rolled a four, so why does it show a two? He rolled a four because he's got a negative two penalty for unskilled. Oh, okay. Thanks. These okay. boys don't know how to ride horses. Um, so as as y'all are riding, yeah, you, you you get to this this rocky outcropping and and you, you start to you start to it, it's kind of a it's kind of a rock that goes across this crevasse. And not a big, not a big thing, but it's, it's, you know, just probably about an eight foot deep trench. And as, as your horse goes over it, brother fly, um, he starts to buck. And when he starts to buck, you slide off of the back. Uh, you didn't, you basically, you didn't saddle him up good and the saddle comes unbuckled and you slide off the back. Um, so you will take. five damage what is your toughness five five okay so you you are fine but you are off your horse um and and you basically um quarter main has trouble getting over it also he doesn't fall off his horse but he he does not do as well as the other and it it, it takes y'all probably a good 30 to 45 minutes to get both horses across and people back on the horses and saddled up again so that, that kind of puts you behind for the day. Um, Boys, you gotta, you gotta now that y'all got some horses, you should practice a little bit. <laughs> um, so y'all start riding a little bit more. You go a little bit deeper into the woods. Let's see what the random okay. Um, okay. And you get deeper in the woods and it starts to get, it starts to get darker earlier for well it seems like it's getting darker because of the storm clouds in the sky y'all can either choose to go ahead and and take a take a camp here because it, it, it's around three o'clock in the afternoon but it is dark not dark dark but it's the, the, the wind's blowing hard the snow's blowing in it's it's almost white out conditions now um something that y'all might want to think about you know, bunkering well, down. Looks like it's getting a little dark. Colonel Angus would prefer to be a little bit conservative, use some time to find a proper campsite so we're not caught in a fucking situation. But we could press on a little further. What y'all feel like doing? Safety first. Sure. You have the okay. safety for safety. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So right, y'all, y'all gonna find a good campsite. All right. So give me. Ooh, that would be a survival roll there. Nobody's good at survival, huh? Colonel Angus, he's got survival. Oh, do you? I'm not, I'm not great at it, but I got it. <laughs> okay. So everybody, well, Colonel Angus, since you're the only person with it. Hmm. Well, that's not great. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you find a a decent spot to hunker down between, like these 
this rock and there's some trees. Um, y'all don't have a tent. Y'all have y'all do have sleeping bags. How do y'all want to set up camp? What what is the best? What is you tell me what the way that y'all would like to set up camp with an incoming blizzard. Mother Sly's suggestion is that we all use our sleeping bags collaboratively and lie in our skivvies butt cheek to you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Um, Quartermain would like I it to be you. known that he does not like this plan. <laughs> <laughs> Be on the I want to. Best thing to do is shield number one from the cold wind that's going to be coming. Okay. And so, we make a, a proper lean to. First, we uh, line the ground with some, some, uh, you know, pine branches or whatever, and then, and then make a lean to with the same kind of thing, cover it up with. Some thick pine branches. Oh, we'll be all right. We'll survive all right. tonight. So give me, give, go ahead, Colonel Langus. You give me another survival roll for finding the pine branches and building the lean to. Or I will take a, uh, let's see, what kind of rolls do we have that we can use for that? Anybody have a roll that you can suggest you could use for that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got repair. That's a good one. Yeah, I would. I would say would probably repair work, yeah. would probably work. Save for pray in the winter. Come on. Okay. Fine. So, so Colonel Angus finds some suitable um pine branches and lays them down. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he finds he finds grand pine branches and lays them down. He actually. He actually finds a, a tree that has this stringy bark on it, and it, it, and he thinks that he can start a fire with it if he has something to start one with. Um, I do. I got my and, got my matches and my okay. tobacco kit, so you know my pipe. So okay. So and Carlson, he 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 fashions a lean to just big enough for for four people to lay under, and he positions it against the wind so the wind kind of sweeps up over it um and then y'all know what a lean to is right yeah y'all yeah, yeah. been boy scouts okay yeah um <laughs> and basically uh basically uh colonel angus decides that if if you take some small stones that you find on the ground and throw them into the fire and then roll them out of the fire on into the lean to it'll keep the lean to warm at over overnight the residual heat from the rocks will will, will actually keep y'all warm if you there put you it know. in the foot of the lean to. Yeah. So so y'all y'all don't bed down overnight. Uh, everybody, give me a bigger roll. Um. And yeah. this, well, since it's at a minus, ooh. <laughs> got a three. I thought yep. we were plus one with the jacket. Yeah, boy, well, it's a. Plus one with the jacket, but it's at a minus two because of the severe wet weather condition. Oh. So you're at a minus one. But Colonel Angus has no problem. He's sleeping in his underwear and his hat. Uh, <laughs> Brother Fly, you take a, a, a bit of, what's it called in this game? Is it fatigue? Is I think there... I'm going to call him a Colonel Angus. <laughs> like a... Uh... I think it's fatigue, isn't it? I mean, we do have fatigue, yeah. So you take a you take a hit of fatigue. One one okay. thing of fatigue. Um, that that was that was Carlton. Yeah. Um. What the hell? There we go. Uh, oh, brother Fly, you do also. Mm -hmm. And Quartermain, give me a vigor. Yes. You also take a hit of fatigue. Um, so Ow. everybody every yeah, everybody is is a bit fatigued. Um like shit. I'm yeah, your you rest your rest is is in and out through the night, just waking up shivering cold. Um and you hear Colonel Angus is over there snoring. And, uh, 
I told you we should all huddle up together. <laughs> and as y'all y'all all huddle up together, but as y'all lying there, um, everybody give me a notice roll except for Colonel Atkins. Nice. Yeah. So Carlton, every now and again when you're awake, you hear you feel these tremors in the earth. Um, so does Quarterman. You feel these tremors in the earth, like the ground is is just like these minor vibrations in the ground. Um <laughs> Yay, I'm part of things too. Uh <laughs> Is it something I can roll science for? Um, to know what it is. I don't have nature. Uh, well, get go ahead and roll science, and I'll. If you get something really good, I'm. Oh, um, really good. Nah, that's pretty good. Um, so. I mean, for is it like an earthquake, or do I think it's like man-made kind of a thing? Uh, well, you know, it's not an earthquake, um, okay. because it seems to come from a certain direction, and then it's almost like something was burrowing under you oh. throughout the night. Like you would, you would feel it start on one end of where the camp is, and feel it go all the way to the other end where the camp is and make a circle and you can hear it rumble in a circle throughout the night. So, so like that close by, not like somebody's blasting off in the distance. N no, it, it it feels like that it's passed you two or three times tonight. Okay. And let me Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I lost my page. Alright, so let's say y'all set up camp where would y'all set up camp at? Colonel Angus wakes up and he's like, oh, no. "Brother Fly, you, you haven't woke up yet. <laughs> you you yeah, slept. But... You you rolled too good on your vigor to have woken okay. up. Right. These people, these people that did not roll well and are fatigued. This well, is where your lean to is. Which way? Yeah. Which way is the wind blowing in? The wind's blowing from that way." Okay. No, actually, no. We'll say from that way because you'd had the rock. Oh, back to, side of the rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And let me get you four horsemen out here. Yeah. Oh, where is that? Horses, 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 horses. <clears throat> horses, horses, horses. There they are. And we'll say you put your horses. Why do the horses start out so small? me and y'all can drag y'all's tokens on the board okay and we'll say you had your horses tied up around here all the way around the yeah mm-hmm yep. quarter main you sleeping over there um yeah before <laughs> before we get into anything it takes okay. You said I had eight bennies, correct? Yes. Yeah. You, from what from what my calculations are, yes. Okay. And it takes five to buy an edge? To buy an edge, yes, sir. Yep. Okay. I want, now that we are skilled, I want speed. Seasoned. seasoned. Yes, yeah, seasoned. Yes. I want speed load. Speed load. All right. Like as long because I think we said early on, like for my gun, because it's like a fairly big thing and I can't just it would take yeah. like of my three actions, it would take shooting and then the other two actions would be reloading yep. with speed load. Could I shoot, reload, shoot? Oh, what is speed load? Let me look. Speed load is ignore penalty for loading and shooting in one round. And it also says in the. Like when I looked as a part of the core rule book, mm -hmm. it says that it reduces the time it takes to reload. Okay. By, it says that it takes one round. 
It says, reload. your hero can reload one weapon on his action, ignoring the usual minus two penalty to shooting and rolls into the same round. If your, yep. your hero is using a weapon that requires a full round or more to reload, the time required is reduced by one round. Which... That, does, that doesn't make sense. But um, Yeah, like, my gun does not require a full round to reload. So, but it takes... It takes more. Really. Yeah, normally we kind of figured it would take two actions. So, so we'll cut it in half, and okay. then you can shoot, fire, shoot. Yes. But then your first action would have to be reload. Yes. Shoot and reload, fire, mm -hmm. reload. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, I just have to keep so, track of which turn it is that I'm. Yeah. So, so it's either you shoot once, reload twice, or shoot twice, reload once in a round. Yes. It just has gotcha. to. I just have to keep in mind which round I'm in. That okay, sounds, sounds good, to good. Me. All right, cool. So you, you've you used five, so we'll yep. remember that at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. So, um, Carlton and Quartermain, y'all both are feeling this. Carlton will kind of, if if any, if if y'all, well, I'll let y'all talk it out. Well, what time is it now? Are we, like, done resting? No, 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 no. This is... This this has gone on through the night. So let's see. The first the tremors time you, have. Yes. Oh. So let's say you let you rest for eight hours. So the first time you held it was five. You heard it was five hours in, and it went through the camp. And then the second time you heard it would have been like towards the end of your rest, and it went back through the camp. Hmm. Uh. So this, so now y'all y'all bedded down around six o'clock that that night. Um, it's about so six seven. So it's about two or three in the morning right now. And I'm awake. Yeah, I'm. You were in and out of sleep all night just because. Okay. Just because of the cold. And I just heard it again. Yes, and this is the second time it went through All the right. camp. I'll look around and see if any of the other guys are awake. Um, Quartermain is awake. Uh, Brother Fly is also awake. The only person that's not awake is Colonel Angus, and he is snoring <laughs> his head off. Um, and also, give me a notice roll. I'm going to give it to you at a plus four because it's not going to be hard to notice. All, all three of the awake guys. Yeah, okay. Carlton, you notice it. Anybody else want to try to notice it? Oh, yeah. You, Brother Fly, you really <laughs> notice it. <laughs> Brother you Fly notice notices yeah. there is flies in the air. <laughs> 20 <laughs> feet away. Bro, Brother Fly notices the <laughs> shit out of it. Um, so um, what you notice uh, at the second time that the, the trimmers go through the camp, the horses get really upset. They start. Pow, uh, pawing the ground and went in and raising up and, and coming back down. Um, you can barely hear it through the wind, but you can hear it. You guys feel that? I felt it for hours. What were you guys doing? <laughs> Something underground trying to. I don't know what's going on. I, don't know. I got a good feeling about sticking around here, though. All right, so um, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, he is sawing logs. It's like sleeping next to my wife. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. She's sick. She can't help it. Uh, Should I link up the crew? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. Are you going to wake him up? Yeah, I'll wake him up. All right. So you wake him up? Yeah. Yeah, he's rested. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you wake up. You wake everybody up. We gotta get moving. Um, Brother Fly, I ask you a question. Sure thing, Colonel. 
Where are your hands? Pillows. <laughs> Those are not pillows, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm so extra warm and jingly right now. Girl, he gets jumps up. And he starts like shivering. <laughs> All right, so um, so what happens is, as y'all kind of you you wake Colonel Langus up, and as y'all wake Colonel Langus up, you hear one of the horses cry out. Um, That's a weird horse cry. Shit, <laughs> Abigail. <laughs> um, is that you? And, and all of a sudden, um, looks like a thresher mob. Jesus. Uh, good wow. Roll. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's like insta kill. So, somebody oh, just died. My horse. Oh, Apollonia. <laughs> so, Apollonia. So you, um, so, you hear this big noise come up. It's just like, and you hear the horse whinny and then cry and then. You hear this loud smack on the ground, of the, and it shakes the earth. Um, uh, what do y'all do? Uh, I'm gonna run over here and see He's if I can see what's real. going on. So as you as you look, you you really you you see um, this big fleshy worm come out of the ground, and you can see the the tail end of the horse just being. This thing has tentacle. Um, y'all seen tremors, right? <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. No. This is basically a tremor. Uh, <laughs> you see, you see the tentacles just kind of pulling the horse down in, down into the uh, into the earth, down into the ground, and and the horse is just kind of sliding into the ground. Um, you you actually cannot see this now. Boys, because we need to get the hell out of here because it's in the ground. Okay. All right. I grab my shit. Snatch up my bedroll and make my way over to my horse. I'm gonna grab my shit and was that my horse or whose horse got eaten? Whose horse got eaten? <laughs> um mine's fine. Uh, I tell you what. <laughs> everybody everybody roll a D four. And the one with the highest number of horses got eaten. Uh -oh. The highest number. Yeah, that's the so highest. Things are not looking good. Woo! Things are not looking good. Okay, you oh. and uh, both of y'all re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you, Stephen, you have the worst luck in this game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so his horse got eaten. Oh, yeah. Quarterman, get on my horse. Let's go. <laughs> Quarterman, there, there is a giant hole in the ground where Quarterman's horse was. You can you can feel you can actually feel the the ground starting to shake around where you are. Around where Quartermain um, is, or where you where we no, are, oh, where where the uh, on the other side of this rock. Wait mm. a minute, it's not your turn. It's not. Your, <laughs> let's get go, back, guys. Come on, let's go. <laughs> get back and get back in bed. Oh, okay. It's Quartermain. Did you should, should you're just a passenger? In bed. I <laughs> one of took the dynamite. Um, Light it okay. and throw it down the hole on your way out, out of here. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to deal the cards. Uh -oh. And we're going to run. So you said it's like 2 or 3 in the morning? Yep. It's dark. Okay. What? Oh, you know what? We don't have a turn order. That's why none of the stuff got put in the turn order. Um, remove all turns. Clear. And that will put a turn for you, a turn for you. If you throw dynamite down a tunnel, then plus of force will go in either direction of the tunnel, right? I, see on two I, I don't know if you're that scientific or not, uh, Colonel Angus. No, I'm <laughs> speaking as <of> Matt. <laughs> uh, well, you, uh, It'll go Maybe. in three directions. It'll go Maybe. up and to the sides. Right. Uh, it, it wouldn't go also down the tunnel? Yeah, it probably would. Hold on. i got to get my other guy. Well, the tunnel well, would like, be like throw... three ways, right? During Vietnam, one of the cool things about using grenades against the Vietnamese 
Mm -hmm. uh, um, it was really effective because the tunnel focused the blast. Mm -hmm. You didn't want yeah. to be in the tunnel if a, a grenade came in. No. Well, or any sort of explosive. You got a grenade in the I'm saying, like, your, your dynamite should have a good chance if you do throw one down there. All right, Carlton, you get to go first. Okay, um... Wow. We might, we might want to just climb up on top of this rock here. So like, where exactly is this hole at? Is it, like, over here? Well, we... It would probably be over here, but we probably wouldn't be able yeah. to see it just because it's on the other side of this okay. massive rock. Yeah. 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 I'm rolling on top of the And rock. we're also well, on the side of a cliff. Well, that's not really a cliff. That That's a, a freshwater spring. Oh. Okay. I mean, it, 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 it's pretty deep. Can we, Okay, that, and it's it's dark, but can we see a little bit by moonlight? Uh, no, it's a whiteout. It's, it's dark. It's Damn dark, it. dark. I was trying to see if there was like any disturbances on the water. We try to right just bolt out of there riding blind. You know, who knows where the fuck we're gonna end up. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying we get on top of this boulder here or yep. one of the other boulders around here. And just rain down explosives. Or or gunfire. That yeah. too. How high is this boulder? Um, it is probably about fifteen feet in there. Okay. Does it look too steep to scurry up the side? Well, I don't know what your... I'm not sure what everybody's uh, athletics and stuff is. What What is the the thing for that? Let me well, go somebody can get to the top and throw a rope down the rest for the rest of us. I've got athletics, so... I'm getting kind of old. One of you youngins <laughs> climb up there and pull us up. Is, is I there think you're athletic? somebody. There's a chili. Yeah, there's an athletic skill. Oh, is there athletic? Oh, I thought there was an yeah, athletic skill. Yeah, there is athletic. Which it might be climbing that. even. No, it it falls under athletics. Okay. Yeah. Well, Carlton, you go first. Okay, so Carlton's gonna give activate his uh eye patch. Well, I don't even know why I have to do that. Um, oh, I guess to activate it. Mm. PowerPoint. Yeah. Yep. Now his his eye is glowing pink. Yep. So, so is this your eye that glows pink? Do you no, lift it's... do you lift your patch up and you just have like a mechanical eye in there that glows pink? No, not yet. Right now it's just over uh Okay. It's it's on the eye patch. Okay, um, so that I, that I wear. Sometimes. So Carlton, so Carlton does something on the side of his face, and his eye patch bed. Gl starts glowing, and you it, it 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 emits. I tell you what, it's gonna let me uh, change the uh, the settings for this page. Dynamic lighting is on. Daylight mode is off, and then. Carlton. Can't see shit. Yep. Well, that's, that's what dark is. <laughs> Carlton will emit with his. How, how much does it say you could see? Uh, what did you say? 60 feet. Let's see. Ignores up to four points of illumination penalties. I don't know what that. Yeah, we'll say we'll say it'll give you dark vision up to sixty feet. Okay. And we'll also say that it emits six foot of dim light. So that should make y'all be able to see a bit around him. So like one yeah. square around me, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess I'm going to try to scurry up the side of this thing. All right. So give me a athletics roll to get up. I do not have athletics. That's going to be bad because this, this thing is... Well, no, this side of the rock would not be icy. Um, Is this water frozen over or is it still liquid? 
Um, so you can see the top of it. There is ice over the top. Okay. Just not sure how thick it is, I guess. Yes. Okay. Well, damn it. Yeah, I don't have anything else that can help me out physically. <laughs> What is my speed? Six blocks. One, two, three, four. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to run to my horse. Okie doke. Uh, Can you mount your horse? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's your that's your two moves, right? Uh, Yeah, I guess my action and my movement. All right, quarterman. Back. So quarterman can hear, up. like everybody else is running off into the darkness, but quarterman can, of course, see anything. <laughs> well, he just he just left all of y'all in the darkness. He was like, "Peace mm -hmm. out, I'm gone." Yeah, you did. Well, I would have seen the direction that he would have headed in. Head in, right. right. Yes. Yep. Okay. So could I kind of go at half speed to proceed along his direction? Sure. And then once I... So, like, he went north, of course. Yep. So, like... And you can... You would be able to see... I think you would be able to see his light. Mm-hmm. You would see, be able to see the light that he sheds. Yeah. Okay. Right. And would I be able to up, see, like... On top of the horse... Would I be able to see him from this position? Like my screen is pretty yeah. much entirely black. So, what? Yeah, and he you, he had told well, me about riding in his horse. So correct? You can't you can't see this right here. Uh, I can see him, but it's very very dim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that so that's his that's his eye shedding that light. Oh, okay, freak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then. He was the one who invited me to ride on his horse, correct? Yeah. Okay, well then I'd try and make my way over to him and be like right. waiting for the go-ahead to hop on. Well, th I think you already have the go-ahead to hop on if you want to do right. that. All right. And then, of course, I would... Well, I would probably realize at this moment, oh my gosh, I have no horse. And then that's when the <laughs> invitation well, to hop on to be like, let's go. So, so before before uh, combat started, uh, Binks walked out here. Oh, okay. And saw, and saw this horse get swallowed. Oh, so he saw my horse be like, oh, yeah, Quarterman, like, your horse got eaten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so now it's the worm's turn. Well, I thought it was me. It's in Colonel Angus. Yeah, well, I've, the worm is on the GM layer, okay. and so you can't see his turn. So that's one, two, three. So this worm comes up, and bites at Colonel Angus's horse. At uh, not Colonel Angus's horse, but at your horse, and misses. Now it's Colonel Angus's guy. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to climb on top of this boulder next to the lean-to. All right. So you can actually, if you walk up the lean-to with one of the big braces of the lean-to, I'll yeah. give you a plus one on the on the roll, on the All athletics right. roll. Using the lean-to to to basically get up on it. Yep. Okay. Uh, athletics do not have. Do you want me to do strength or? Um... Uh, nope. Un unskilled. Unskilled, okay. With a plus one. Very, oh. That's no good. Two. So as you, as you go to try, you kind of wrap well, your arms around it and wrap your legs around it, but the logs are so icy, you just kind of slip off and fall prone. Um. Hold on a second. Both of the dice show threes here, so why does it have a one and a one? Because you're unskilled. It's an if you're unskilled, you take a negative two. 
keep forgetting that. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um, so you're on the ground, um, mm -hmm. but you still have an action. You're on the ground about right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to the worm go back down after it missed. No, it, it's still it, it its head is still up about, and the the tentacles are kind of flinging around. All right, I'm just gonna give it a double barrel shotgun shot. Can you see the worm? Yeah, I can see them, and he's right next to him, right? <laughs> Shoot at us. <laughs> No, oh, the worms. Oh no, you can't. You can't see the worm. It, oh, it was okay. over here with the horses. Okay. Then um, I'm just gonna get back up and try again. All right, go ahead. Give me another one. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, you, so, you, so you grab hold of the log again and try to shim me up, and you shim me up. You get about to this, where the rock is, and you just slide all the way back down. Shit. <laughs> all right, brother fly. All right. Brother fly's muted. Yeah, he don't. Brother. Muted, brother fly. Sorry, I was trying to do the same thing he did. But I think I did it. Yep, you made Several it to days. the top. You made it to the top. Okay. Do I see the uh, worm? Um. Oh. So you made it to right here. Um. I don't know. No, you do not see the worm. <laughs> okay. Somebody might want a well, lot of torch. Well, that's actually the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh my lantern and light it. Okay. So, um. Instead of throwing me a rope, go light a lantern. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm the priest. You're the badass colonel. Uh, okay. That's what I said as we were lighting the lantern. I'm like, oh, so, you light a lantern instead of throwing me a rope. <laughs> so, um, you tr you try to light the lantern. Um, let's see what yeah. kind of role we can use to light a lantern, because you're gonna have to take a. You're in a. In a uh oh what did I just say? Agility. I think it'd probably be like common knowledge because everybody's got lanterns. Yeah, but you're trying to light it in a blizzard. Agility. So well <laughs> agility. Get, go ahead and give me what would that be? I don't know, common knowledge or penalty? Survival, mate. Hold on, I gotta piss. I'll be right survival. Can I roll performance? <laughs> Faith? I'm a fighting starter. I'll channel the H1. Uh. I mean, if I knew where the 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 worm was, I'd just throw a gallon of oil on it and set it on fire. That would, you know, give us light and hurt the worm. Was you? I throw a dynamite. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, say no. I'm gonna say it's gonna be uh um survival to light it. I don't have survival. Give me give me an unskilled. Oh lord. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Very good. That's so you shit. light the okay. lantern. Um and I believe the lantern is going to give you um Also am I like here now? Is that what the rock was? We're here. Yeah. We're going to say that and then Okay. Is that enough to even get a glimpse of it? Oh yeah, you yeah. can see it now. 
Yeah. You, okay. You can't, so, you can't see that on your map, right there. Okay. But, I just, but, I don't know. Like, oh, that was okay. Yeah. Um. But that was your turn. You climbed up. Turn, and you, yeah. yeah, and you lit your lantern. And yeah. so the next, it's the next turn, and the giant worm goes first, and he will bite at y'all's horse. Actually, he's gonna slam at your horse. So he he raises way up out of the ground and just falls onto where your horse is. The horse that we're on, or yep. the one that it's on right now? Uh, we're gonna say the horse that you're on. Oh. <laughs> Horse you rode in on. What's yep. what's my horse's parry? I guess. Um, let's look. Mind the five. Your riding, your riding skill. Yeah, you're gonna have to make a riding skill if your horse parries. So hold on, let me find the horse. Horse parry. Horse parry. Horse parry. Horse parry. Right. Back kick. We've got. Face off. Horse's parry is four. <laughs> so your horse failed its parry. Will it get smacked? So it will take the damage. Die. Dang. How did it get twenty three? Yeah, how the hell? One D twelve plus nine plus one D four. Um, so, uh, yeah, the horse is dead. Um, <laughs> no. The horse is dead again. <laughs> um, so, uh, both of y'all make me a agility roll. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Carlton made it. I'll probably make it. Oh, yeah, you made it. Mm. So, so gently... Y'all got gently rolled off the horse. <laughs> gently rolled off. Gently yep. rolled off the horse. Giant worm eating the horse, but gently rolled. Yeah, y'all are gently rolled off the horse. Y'all so when the when the giant fucking snake thing came out the ground, y'all were like, nope, I'm out. And y'all y'all jumped off the horse as the as it got crushed with the snake, um, or with the graboid worm. God damn it. Um, and now it's Colonel Angus's turn. All right. Um, I have some rope of my own. So I'm going to, like, a uh, loop of a big lariat, basically. Throw it up to, to the preacher here. Uh, all right. The preacher's about to grab some dynamite. You may not want to be up here. <laughs> like that's just rope pull, pull me up what do I gotta roll here throw um, throw just, so you you have athlete, you have athletics plus four this time right. with the rope and that, that'll give you a pretty pretty easy well you made it up so you you make it up well, does he catch the rope yeah well I mean do you want to catch the rope brother fly uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. If I yeah, have I was, to. I was, I was about to start throwing dynamite, so I don't know if you want to actually be up here. Have you seen how I roll? So, <laughs> you will die. <laughs> Colonel Angus, you are on the top. Okay. All right. You still have a move left, or an action left. You can right. Right. Or... Yeah, double barrel shotgun at this motherfucker. All right. So how to go ahead and roll your shotgun? All right. Over here. Hmm. So you hit it. Is that a raise? Um, no, that is not a raise. So it doesn't do shit. No, it's just not a raise. You get to roll damage. Dang. It's yeah, it's double barrel, so it's nineteen. Nice. Um, so you see all of your pellets go into this thing and they yeah. just kinda like slide off of his skin. They none of them, none of them penetrated. No, no? <laughs> Um his toughness <laughs> is twenty one. <laughs> what? 
Well, yeah, but how? I mean... <laughs> Did anyone bring the howitzer? And I, ro I rolled really high damage. That's not really that high damage, is it? Yeah, 46, and I rolled a 5, a 4, a 4, and a 4. Better than average. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty decent. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, uh, it is Carlton's go. <laughs> hey, Preacher, how about that rope? <laughs> hanging down where I, where I climbed up. He could just run up yeah. that side. Oh, okay. All right. So, what does the rope give me? A uh, plus four on your, uh, on your well, climbing. Still athletics or yeah <laughs> no Why did you only roll one <laughs> so, so you start to climb and oh, no. it's so icy it's so icy that you just slide down the rope um, oh he's is he distracted no yes, i'm fatigued you're fatigued he is fatigued oh uh, okay y'all all should be fatigued except for except yeah. for uh colonel angus mm -hmm. so Hands between my butt cheeks. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Your you still have one hand action hand you can use. I guess I'll try it again. I don't know why it only rolled one dice though. It's been Here. praying hands for him. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> y'all are, yeah, are horrible. Uh, all right, quarterback. There's praying, then there's me and pray. Yeah. Well, might as well. Try the same as Carlton and hope and pray <laughs> So you pray go over and bump Carlton out the way. Don't forget you got a you got a plus four or a negative two, so it ain't equals up being a plus two. Okay. Oh, two. Actually, is that a negative one for fatigue? It's a claim. I got a, I got a negative one for fatigue. Yeah, yeah it's a, a athletics. It's, it's athletics. Which I guess like I'm still unskilled, so. Yep. Oh gosh. I didn't roll that. I clicked on it, but it didn't roll. Yeah, mine took a second to do it, too. Yeah. Oh, oh, Haha, wild roll. die! Yep, your wild <laughs> die gets you to the top of the rock also. Yay! I just mm. kind of look back and whisper, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is, uh, it is, um, the preacher man's guy. Is it, is it completely out of its hole now? Oh, wait. Two people were talking. Right, what'd you say? Anyone? Is he completely out of his hole now? The, the um, he, yeah. So so basically, what he he came up, and on this turn, he, he kind of laid flat over the top of that horse. Okay. So so he um, got, he's got he's about... He's got about Aramite. 30 feet of him. Oh, no, we'll say 15 feet of him just laying on the laying on the ground right there. I'm going to dynamite down his gullet. Okay, I'm going to lay one of my sticks of dynamite off the lantern and throw All it right. to him. If I give it in his mouth, I will, but like at this point, any any contact. All right. So Ideally, with, with, between him and the rock, so it's focused against him. No, because then it will be in the blast radius. I'll get on the other side of him. But I'm trying to save my, my sweet Apollonia. Um, I don't know what I would even roll for that. Would it be, like, strength or... You should... It It, it would be... A throwing skill. It would be like a fighting roll. Yeah, I think if you have it, it should be under your okay. gear, maybe. Three. Oh, hold on. Under my gear? If it's oh. like equipment, maybe. Let's see if I can find it. I think I just wrote down dynamite. Uh, or you might like spend a penny. Well, hold on. Let's uh, let me let me uh, look. Yeah, let's see if you can. Before the body, let's see. They are heavy weapons. 
talking about is uses the athletics setting it user oh, repair. Shit. Anything more than a seven six down is usually set to slow. And it's a medium blast rate, but I don't it doesn't say what the damage is for it. Okay, it just this is athletics. Here's what I'll do. I'll take two sticks of dynamite, use a Benny, light it, and throw it till it hits him on the other side of us. So it's not we're not in the blast radius. Well, let me figure out what the blast. The blast so I just is. drug dynamite to my thing, and that's what it well, did. But it doesn't even say dynamite. dynamite. If you can get the dynamite down his gullet with that Benny, it probably won't affect us. Yeah, if I can get it, can I get it in his mouth? That's not that's not dynamite because it didn't. Hold right. on, hold well, on one second. That's what it did when I drug it onto my page. From yeah, let me let me. Uh, I've got I've got a web page open. Let's see how much damage it does. Where in the hell? It doesn't say how much the the damage is. I want to see what this is. You can get it in its mouth. Oh, uh, well, where is this freaking damage? That doesn't nothing give me the damage for dynamite. Last year is not absolutely nothing gives me a number of value of damage. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll say dynamite what's a fireball do? Forty eight? What does a fireball do in D and D? I have no idea. I thought you had dynamite damage I thought, because you I had did. It for I, the I did too, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm. We used dynamite is um. Hold on, dynamite is. It's on page thirty-two. See if you can find damage right part because I've looked at it. One to two six is two d six. Three to four is three d six. Five five to six is four d six. Range is okay. Plus two damage for four d six. Plus two damage for four six. Six foot radius. If you um plus two damage for five six six. So dynamite is two d six plus two. Okay. Really? That's all. I don't even but it's the... but it's in but it's per square. So so if you throw uh -huh. it, he he takes up how many squares does he take up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He takes up nine squares. So it's two d six times nine. Really? Oh, okay. I I'm gonna play it that way because it's two. So dynamite doesn't I'm last gonna, right. I'm gonna... You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Dynamite does a blast radius. So the blast radius covers <laughs> covers those squares. So if he's covering those squares, he's taking that blast everywhere. Doesn't yeah. that sound doesn't that sound right? Yeah, so especially if you throw it inside his throat. Yeah. A dynamite blast covers. Is there any that. way I can get his mouth? Well, the dynamite is a medium blast radius. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, man. Just roll to see if you hit him with it. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, what, what should I roll? Yeah, athletics. I don't have athletics, so <laughs> I roll fighting. I got a uh, three. 
We should have guessing that second land is mouse up. I threw a Benny on it. Or do you want me to roll re-roll this unskilled and see what happens? So, so here first time that Benny. So here a cowpoke standing up to five yards away from a single stick of dynamite, its burst radius would take three D twenty, is what it's saying here. With three D ten and three so I'm I'm gonna go with three D twenty because I don't like that two D six. Um, and the blast radius is five squares. So we're gonna do three D twenty, and it's five squares. So three D twenty times five. Yep. So. Well. Okay. So. Mm, I wouldn't say 3D20 times 5. If we're doing 3D20, well, yeah, we'll do it. We'll just, yeah. I, I don't, I, I'm legitimately, I'm not fighting, I'm just asking. Yeah, just, just, just roll, just roll your, your athletics. Skilled. Yeah, just roll your athletics. Um, I don't have athletics, so it's going to be unskilled. No. Yep. We'll see how bad you, what, what, what spot are you aiming at? Um, is there a chance in hell I can get it in its mouth? Mm-hmm. With two raises, uh, with a raise, I'll let you get it in its mouth. What's a raise mean? So you have to hit, you have to hit, uh, four over the target number. What so you have you... to. <laughs> what did you spend the Benny for? I was going to spend the Benny to hit it in the mouth. But let's roll and see if I don't even. Oh, oh no! If you want, no. If you spend the minute to hit it in his mouth, I'll say you do it. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Because so roll. I'll roll you until now. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So go ahead and. Yeah, I, mean, I, roll, I roll a five, but what's that gonna? Oh no, I roll a zero. So you spent yeah. the minute. It went in his mouth. It went in his mouth. So roll the three d twenty. Come on. Ooh. Not bad. Please. Yep, that hit. <laughs> um, so. I think he's going to run away. <laughs> if it didn't kill him. Did it blow his head off? Winning above toughness, one success and five. So yeah, um, so as the, the stick of dynamite goes down, you see that thing go, and then you hear it go, <laughs> and smoke comes out of its mouth, and it just falls over dead. Nice, hey. very good, good job. At the cost <clears throat> of two horses. Pat, pat him on the back. It is for you, Apollonia. Apollonia, my girl, is for you. <laughs> my boy all right so um y'all get back on the remaining horses hold on one second Let me drink another room. all right so y'all get back on the two horses is that correct yeah all right so by ways of the map It so looks like playing with fire is not a suggestion. Um. <laughs> so as as y'all as um somebody look at the map. Give me a common knowledge or survival roll. The common knowledge you're gonna need a raise on, but the survival you just need a four. Age. Quarterman's not going to roll for the common knowledge. He's just going to raise. Yeah, He's nine. just going to roll for the, the okay. survival, which um, will also be unskilled. So Brother Fly got a nine uncommon. Yeah, so, so Brother Fly <laughs> looks at the uh, looks at the map and he says, "I think we're less than about ten miles out. If we if we go now, we can be there by morning." Yeah, why did they heard the explosion? Um, well, the wind—you know—the wind is the wind is is pretty 
pretty howling, and there wasn't really that much of an explosion. It was basically like a, you ever shot a, a firecracker, a, a bottle rocket under the water? And then when it blows up, it, go, it goes boom. And you only hear a sniper rifle. <laughs> yeah, so it, it doesn't really make a loud noise. The water kind of, the, the body kind of absorbed everything. Yeah. All right. So okay. are y'all going to jump on the wagon or y'all going to try to get some more rest? Uh, let's just get this over with. We're probably yeah, already actually, very awake at this point. Yep. Just like <laughs> the, I'm going to get a good, like, big sized piece of that worm meat. Okay. Wrap it up. Put it in my bag. Okay. Um, anybody else want to do anything to the worm? Um, I'm going to bless it and ask the Lord to remove these unclean things from the land. All right. Anything else? What's the uh what's the blood look like? The blood is a sticky green blackish viscous substance. But you do know that um you uh the the little tentacles that are sticking out, the little graboid parts of it look interesting if you would like to take one or two of them and tie it to the side of the horse. I love that. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so you, I mean, you harvest I mean, you harvest the grab, just call it graboid heads. Um, so like they're they're probably a, what you can get is probably about a, a a five to ten foot smaller worm that comes out the head of this worm, right. and it it's got like it's it's got kind of like a snapping turtle beak on the end of it. Oh. And that's what it uses to pull stuff down in it. Um, How many of those do I get? Uh, roll a d4, because he's got four of them. You get two. You can make boxing gloves with them. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, okay, so y'all get on y'all's horse. Um, whoever's driving the horse, give me a riding at a negative one because of the snow. If one of you guys could ride, drive my horse, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, that'd kill us. And also, make sure you get the tack from the uh, Scotch horse. That horse is my horse is still alive, so I'm going to be riding mine. Okay. Yeah, mine was crushed. Is it still <laughs> under the thing? Oh, it's dead. Well, yeah. But oh, it's dead. <laughs> can I get anything off of it, or is it can I um, move this worm? Um, no, the worm kind of moved off of it. Okay. Colonel Angus, you just did make the riding. I can okay. at least maybe grab my saddle off of there and stuff. and All right. So I don't have to buy another one. Okay. Who, who's riding with me? Uh, I guess I'll drive the preacher horse. Yeah, I'll ride with Colonel Angus. I don't die. Cool. Okay. Ooh. So... Because I'm fatigued. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so you are... Uh, you you uh you go riding and you know the your horse drifts off and goes left and goes right. Um, I like because I'm dozing off. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's uh it's it's kind of on autopilot. It's not a very comfortable ride. Um, so both people on that horse is going to take a mega one to their pace. Okay. Until they can get a, a a night's rest, you just get saddle sore because it's just a, such a rough ride. Um, you ride on through the rest of the night, and you come to um this valley, and you you are you you get to the the top of a hill, and as the hill crests, you see. Uh, where is my it's Howard's farm? You see Howard's farm, and y'all will be coming in from. Y'all see anything on this page yet? No. Okay, uh, let let me drag you on because I want y'all to don't want y'all to be somewhere that you ain't supposed to be. Uh... My my eye patch thing only lasts for an hour. Yeah, it would be gone. Um, where the hell are y'all at? 
wild card. There you go. Colonel Angus. So are y'all going to dismount your horses and try to sneak up? or? Uh, I'll just probably about to talk to everybody about that. So this is what you see coming over the hill. Can, mm -hmm. can y'all see now or is it still dark? Dark. How long were we riding for? Uh, probably about another two, two and a half hours. It, it's just now daylight when you. So it's like five in the morning. Yeah. Hold on one second. Let me, let me change this lighting real quick. Boy, remember that, uh, you know, these the Aguilar sent those other fellows to kill us, right? When we were riding back from that one farm. Well, they weren't really sent to kill you. They were just sent. They were just on the road trying to yeah. kill. Well, they were they were trying to ambush people on the road, but we saw yeah, them. That, yeah, didn't they that, weren't trying to. Didn't that note that... Uh, did they have a note from the uh, Aguilar guys, like to go after us here? Mm, nah. No, they had no, no, no. All they had was like a coarsely drawn, a crudely drawn map. Okay, of the hideout okay. where they're. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was under the impression that like were sent after us. No, no, no. They they were just <laughs> sent after anybody that might have been on that. Anybody. Yeah. Okay. Not us specifically. All right. No. Nah. All right. Um. So it, since it's going to be dawn, let me adjust the lighting a little bit here. So y'all want to do just at dawn or? Like... Yeah, I'm going to wait till I can see. Yeah, we probably should. Because <laughs> if it, we're going to use rifles, which I, you know, want to do, because Quartermain can. The wings off a of flea. Okay, so we'll 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 say it's getting to be morning. Is that better for y'all? Slightly. Yeah. Yep. Oh, way better. Then, uh, you know, we get more money if we catch them alive, but. I don't want us to jump. If it looks like we're going, you know, it's going to be too risky, we just kill them, in my opinion. You talking about, uh, Aguilar? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Any, anybody for that matter. So you're trying to catch them all alive or? Well, I, I won't necessarily kill anybody I don't have to. That's what uh, I'm saying. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so, so you're sitting outside of the thing, and you can see this, this large. Can y'all see past that fence? You shouldn't be able to. Um, Maybe you should. Yeah, we can see, or I can see, the building uh, edges and down here. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so that that's like a a four to five foot fence, wooden okay. fence there. You see two guys. Um, with six guns, with two six guns on their, on their uh, belts, it looks like they're standing guard. They've got two torches that are are about to burn out from nighttime, or two lanterns that 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 are burning low. Um, and I don't know how far y'all can see down here. What does this whole area look like? Is it like a farm, a barn? Uh, what? Which area are you talking about? The building like in front of us. Yeah, it, it's an old farmstead. There, there's an old. Sh um, from what you can see, there's an old shack here. Um, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's a door there. That's a door to the house. Oh, okay. okay. And through here is like, 
they they've got clotheslines up between the two buildings and you see four or five pairs of pants out there a couple of shirts <laughs> um there's a a low campfire going on back down here also and then dope? there's a i don't i don't know if y'all can see this but there's a window right there to mm -hmm. to the house okay what around the, about the other side of it but you can't see the other side can you we could go around if we wanted to yeah. Uh -huh. No, because that's the end of the map. I can't go to the other <laughs> side. <laughs> okay, so we have to come from this side. All right. Um, um, so if you wanted to go around, I would say um, the other side of it, there's two, there's a door that, that like right here on the other side. And okay. then there's a, there's a window like right here on the other side. Is there smoke coming out of any of the chimneys? Um, there's smoke coming from here. Looks like mm -hmm. a, a campfire or something is burning back there. Okay. How much snow's on the ground? A lot. Probably, probably a good six to eight inches on the ground. Okay. And you can actually see trails in the snow that go like around here. Some kind of a patrol. Yeah. And how how long do y'all sit there and look? Um, not long. Carlton's okay. gonna scurry over behind these boxes. All right. So if you if you're behind those boxes, that box is going to provide you. Um, let's see what the cover is. I can't remember what it is. I mean, I think if big... you're somewhere over here, you'd have a, you know, a, a line to shoot them from. Yeah, maybe. What what's the you what's the like cover this. cover thing? Look. That's so as if you came over here. You have to um, climb on top of that to get a beat on them from there. So, so behind those, this, go ahead. I'm sorry. Does this uh, boulder here block the view from the boxes? Crates. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks pretty tall. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably about a a five a five foot rock also. So, so if we're gonna stage a game plan, I'd suggest doing doing it over here. That way, if they do start some kind of a patrol, at least we're hidden, and we might be able to ambush them here. If not, at least we're not going to be seen while we're scheming. All right. Do we want let's, to pull a mystery incorporated stay, and split up? Well, let's stay together, but because they probably outnumber us. Why don't we get over here behind these boxes, and then... Um, if uh, they don't, and we'll wait about 15 minutes to see if we can get some of them. If not, then we'll start approaching. Okay, so this right here is going to give you a plus four on your cover. The boxes okay. will give you a plus six because this is basically an old, uh, old broken cart that they use to haul stuff in. Not like a horse and cart, but like a hand cart. Okay. So if you if you hunker down behind it, half of your body is covered. That's over here. So you said plus four. What does that go towards? that goes towards your like when they go to shoot you they'd have to get an eight instead of a four okay i got you that's a plus that's a plus four we're better off behind one of the boxes preacher there you go oh, that, that's still the card but <laughs> okay. Over right. here. So Over here. forgot I was mute. So um I just want to cover the flank in case they want to come out and flank us. Alright. It looks like there's trees there's trees all up here, right? Yep. This is all covered up. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so you're if they gonna... do come by, jump them. If they don't, what are we gonna do? 
let's wait about 15 minutes. If not, then maybe we can uh, sneak through like um, through here. Over this icy area? Yeah. Or maybe around. Or we could go around. That side of the building. And come in through a window, maybe? Uh, how how high is that window? window? Is that window on the ground level right there? Yeah, it's ground level. It's a one story like farmhouse. Yeah, so maybe we can go through that window. Let's let's chill out over here and see if they come over. All right. Bit. So so you wait about fifteen minutes. Um you actually give me a notice roll for uh for everybody. Notice. And quarterman. I rolled off. Oh yeah, didn't. Carlson's got his eye, special eye. Doesn't he get something with that? No, oh, he just ran person. out. Okay. And plus, it ran out a long time ago. Yeah. Quarter, I mean, I quarter, could activate it, but I don't think. Yeah. It's dark enough to. It would be useful. Quarterman, you give me a notice. Yeah. I was just. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> So I had to get that. Okay. Um. So both Quartermain and Banks. Um. Y'all hear the guards? They're they're basically leaning up against the the fence post right now, and they're yawning. One of them lights up a cigarette, and you can see you can see the smoke trailing off. Um. You kind of get the the sense that it's the end of it. Their shift, and that they're not planning on walking through that snow again. They they. They've shoveled out a good spot for them to stand. Um, actually, one of them has a has a has a little bar stool that he's sitting on, and the other one's like leaning up against. It, it looks like that they're 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 pretty set. They're not going to make another round until they get relieved. Doesn't look like they're going anywhere. No. Maybe we could throw a rock, you know, something, and then they'll come check it out. Throw a rock over here. And be like, what was, what was that? I don't know. Go check it out. Well, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'll pick up a piece of like shard of wood or something from this broken wagon. All right. And, and try to throw it like right here. All right. Give me a. We'll just say you can throw it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see what their notice is. Well, shit. Why can't I pull up there? They won't let me pull up their thing. Has the music quit? Yeah. Oh, did it give me a second? Let me pull up there. Huh. Not going to use him anymore. Good man. There we go. Let me see what he has. Uh, shit. Nope. Some silver cross is ready. Um, good. I'll throw them at the dudes. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to find his, uh, it's not giving me his character sheet for some reason. There it goes. Sorry. So he is going to notice. So he does notice, and he mm. and this guy's not here. I had to pull him out to get the character sheet up. Um, I was gonna say, where'd this guy come from? <laughs> he, he was hiding. Y'all didn't notice him. No. Nah. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy. He's he's like, huh? Did you hear that? Sounds like someone threw a stick. 
<laughs> and he and he's gonna go. And he's gonna. He's actually gonna walk, and he's gonna carry his lantern with him. And he's gonna walk up here. Because I'm assuming you threw the stick over in this area, right? I threw it. I threw it over here. Okay, and he's gonna. He's gonna walk. Let me see if I can get the music started back. Huh. He's in range right there. <laughs> well, what? what? You want to wait till he gets closer? What was your plan? <laughs> My plan was to shoot the motherfucker. Oh, I mean... You could whisper to each other, what? You want to like jump them with melee weapons? Uh, can charge, I, him, I can charge him with my saber. I got a lariat. When he, when he gets close enough, he can throw the lariat around him. I got a lariat too. I can Before try. you were using the lariat, he would scream. It'd be no worse right. than shooting him. Oh, I don't know how. Right, well, one lariat. Unless we can then... somehow convince him to come closer, then our best outcome. Is to blow his freaking head off. Um. So at this moment, I need everybody to make a stealth roll. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's not stealthy. I, I'll give you a plus two for hiding behind the boxes, though. Okay. Mhm. Mm Another unskilled check for quartermate. Another minus two. Oh no, I got a one. I okay, got a so one. So that would be a three. So he's going to do another notice roll. I got a four. Well, yeah, but I he's just going to go for the, the lowest. I mean, makes sense. He's on the outside here. <laughs> uh -oh. So he says, he, he sees Quartermain sticking out. He <laughs> says, hey, hey, you, what are you doing here? And uh, he goes to draw for his gun. So y'all have the drop on him. Do what yeah. you do. You have one round to do. You have one action to do what you want to do. Got to do it. Got to do it. All right. Can we have turn order? No. Y'all y'all all go. He doesn't get to go this round. Oh. Y'all have the drop on him. So yeah, there's I no turn order right now. Then me, then... I mean, you can do it however you want to. And I'm going to be starting the turn order for next time. Yo, I'm gonna take off down the side. Three. Ah, God, I'm sick of sneezing. Um, take off down the side this way. And go like you uh, over here. You, you do whatever you do. Just like you're not a fighter, so you know, keep that in mind. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm figuring out if I'm going to the flank, maybe I can catch some bushwhack somebody, or set the building on fire or something. <laughs> yeah, I have so got apparently another part. Yeah, we need me brother pyromaniac. Okay, I got to figure out how to get the damn. Go ahead. Uh, hold on one second. I'm adding turn turn order. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Everybody can go ahead and make the rolls, and then we'll see what we. The building on fire, so it's a preacher. <laughs> the fire of the Lord cleansing everything. I'm going to move you up one and then I'll. All right. Um, so let's Holy see what cleansing fire. So the rolling block misses. Um, Colonel Angus, you hit with your peacemaker. So we will we will roll damage. Oh well. Oh dang. Which one which one do you want? <laughs> I'll take thirteen then. Okay. Okay, so thirteen. Yeah. So you pull up 
and right between his eyes, hat goes flying off. Um, and he dies. Okay. Um, I'm gonna run up there then. And this, I'm guessing, caused a massive stir in the camp. Um, well, yeah, you're gonna have to give me another second because I've got to put everybody else in the turn order. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's like, what did I run we do? We you shot did order? Yeah. Say that again. I'm actually, as he's doing it, I'm gonna bolt t down into the woods on the side over here. You want me to do my run before you do the next turn order? Uh, you've only you've already used your action. Okay, I can't move. Also, no, no, you you've already used your action. So I'm gonna you, bolt down. You, you had you had one action that round, not not one. You know what I'm saying? Not not yes, a turn, sir. not a whole turn. I guess I'll go with the preacher then, since I didn't. He shot and hit before I rolled my damage, so yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't have shot at him. Exactly. All right. So is everybody where they want to be when it starts? Yep. Yeah, I guess I'd. Be running over here to go down and flank, maybe. All right, we that's what I was thinking of doing. Are you going quarter man? Mm. <clears throat> oh. I mean, y'all could stay up there and snipe them, and we could try to get them from behind as they start coming out of the camp. Yeah, I'm just trying to determine just... where would be the best sniping position. If they're coming out of the camp out of the main gate, right. then probably a location that's reasonably close to... Alright, you three kings go first. Colonel Angus. Alright. Actually, aces, but... <laughs> no, Y'all three kings. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna shoot the body. You gonna do what? Loot the body. You gonna loot the body? Yeah. What's he got? Okay. Give me a second. Uh, Galley pistols. He has. What does he have? He's got a cold frontier. And he has. Roll a D10 for dollars. Nine dollars. Bad. Not bad. How many bullets he got on him? Oh, let's see. We'll say he's got D20s worth of bullets. I mean, not he's got 19 bullets. Right, I'm going to take his... If he, does he get a holster to go with it? Belt? Yeah. I'm just going to yeah, take the whole thing. Yeah. So that's going to be your whole action to unbuckle his belt buckle and do all yeah. that. All right. I'm going to... And Colonel, I just make sure your hand don't, don't go between them two pillows. <laughs> I... All right, that's your action. My action. All right, so it is who's go, Brandon, Mr. Quartermain. <clears throat> okay, Quartermain is, let's see how what? good of a position this is. Well, turn out the lantern too. You gonna turn out the lantern? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a clear shot. Where at? To this guy? Yeah, All it's right. that guy. And I'll kind of go down into a kneeling position so that I can kind of pick off everybody who's coming out that <clears throat> front entrance. So All right. I will shoot. Hopefully it will be successful. I would say that is a success. All right, murder. Ha ha! Damn. Damn. Super so, murder. So as he gets alert and he starts reaching for his gun, you shoot and he just it hits him in the chest and he just falls back against the wall and slides down. Okay. All right, Carlton. Wait, hold on. I would have how how high is this wall? That's five feet, so I don't think you would be able to actually see in there. I don't think I'd be able to see this guy. Okay, so you can see his head. So he will have 
um, a six cover. Okay. Well, they know we're here. We might as well. So, I'll take another shot, and it's going to be a lot harder. Yes, sir. Come on, a, sniper. A Basically at a negative six, but no. Uh, no, one. yeah. All right, so I'm going to put a little token above my head saying that right. my next round needs to reload. All right, so this guy's going to go up here and run by and hide behind the wall. And so is this guy. Oh, I didn't get to do my turn. Oh, or is it, wasn't your turn. Oh, was it? Yeah. No, when I when I, I finished my turn, oh, yeah. then you did it. Yeah. And then when I finished trying the second shot, then you skipped it again. Oh, okay. My bad. Just so you know, this is where I'm going to wind up going. Yeah. You I ran 11 inches. Two. So I got six plus five. Six blocks. plus five, yep. One, two. 11. So. You'll have covers in the wall. Sprint over here. Actually, not quite that far. I'm going to stay behind this bush. Mm. All right. So now all the good men go, and they, they take up positions hiding, and they're going to... Let's see. What is the shooting? Is 12, 24, 48... 12 blocks. Yep, so I need to find my measure tool. That's 13, 14. So they will, at a medium, they will take a negative two. He will take a negative two. He can't shoot because he's behind the fence. This guy's going to peek out and take a negative three. Or what is. Can somebody look on your character sheet and see what the long distance is? The penalty for long distance shooting? And that's long distance. I can look it up if nobody can. Uh, range. <laughs> I did not mean to shoot. That was not my intention. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to. Find it. it. It's the, uh, I, I'll find it. It's, it's in the little, uh, full kernel. Wow, that was a negative six. The tax range penalties. There we go. Yeah. Medium is minus two, long is minus four. Okay. So these two would take minus two, and these other two would take minus four on their shots. Um, two of them are going to shoot. Well, I think the only ones they can see is. Is you, uh, uh, what's your name? Quarterman. So that's one. Add a minus two. Miss. Two at a minus two. That hits. Mm hmm. Jesus. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh lord um so you take 15 damage what's your what is your uh toughness uh my toughness is five Ooh, so that's three raises. That you <clears throat> no, count. my toughness is yeah, my toughness is six. So that'd be two raises. That'd be two raises. That's two wounds. Ooh, better go back oh. behind them boxes. Uh, or you can spend a benny. I spent a benny. No way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that one misses. I don't think any of us have any bennies left after this fight. Um. So first, the worm. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other two at negative four. That misses. That misses. All right. Um, this guy runs up to the window here. 
and he's going to roll a notice to see if he can see. That's not him. He's going to roll a notice to see if he can see anybody sneaking up. Um, what did you roll on your stealth earlier? Or do you, I, I'll tell you what, roll another stealth. Come on, stealth. Man, I'm sneaky. Yep, yep he does not see you. Um, Brother Fly, <laughs> give me a stealth. Maybe I'll give you a plus two since you're still in the trees. Six, then. Yep, you're good. Um, you actually hear some barking coming from inside the compound. Sounds like two dogs start barking as soon as the gunshots start going off. Um, it is Brother Flash. Sure go. Uh, do I know the guys looking at me, or can I tell? Oh, you see, uh, you give me a notice. Okay. Oh, yeah, you, so you can see inside there, and you see the mm -hmm. guy hunkering down by the window looking, looking for anybody coming, coming by. <coughs> no. You also, you also hear a gruff voice in there through all the blowing wind and the gunfire you hear. Give me my, give me my armor. The one I see, I tell you, oh, did I shoot damage? Sorry, I meant to do yeah, that. You, you had a roll. That sucks you wasted that. Yeah, first, sorry. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Bad. You miss. So, and it hits the window beside him, and he looks around to see if he sees you, but you, he still can't see you. Um, He's got to take five rounds to put on his armor. And that was my one action, a second action, correct? Yeah, you can move or do whatever you want to. Yep. Shoot again. Um, what are you shooting? My rifle. Uh, is that a single shot or? I thought they were the ones we got. I thought they were lever action. Yeah. Okay. The uh, That's fine. it's got how many does that hold? I should need to look. I'll, I'll find out. You just go ahead and shoot. Oh, <laughs> no. You missed again? I've invented cover fire. Oh, that's 15 rounds. It holds 15 rounds. So just just remember you got 15 rounds in there. Mm -hmm. Um, So we will redeal the cards. Um, Did it not deal? Oh Lord! Oh no! Deal everybody to turn order. Okay, that's the wrong button. Quarter Aces. Main. Aces. All right. Let's see. So these guys down here were all shooting at me. Yep. And what penalty I would would I have to try and shoot at them? Uh, they are behind a, a fence. Um. So so what they do is when they shoot, they pop up and shoot. So they're down behind the fence. They've almost got full cover, which is a positive eight. Crap. But I'm going to say they have a positive four if you want to try to shoot through the fence. But that will give them an extra two on their toughness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. I'll force them to come to me. I'm going to go behind the tree. All right. That way they can, it'll kind of so, even out the so time you, so they're not all shooting at me at once. So you want to just go ahead and reload again then? <clears throat> oh no! Well, I, I reloaded and then the second action. Like I guess yeah. I could, I guess I could reload, take my second action of like trying to shoot them. They I guess I could try and shoot them through the fence. It would be a miracle. Okay. And then no, I will. no. So, so you would still hit. 
it would give them a plus four, and then their toughness would be a plus two. That means that would be added to their toughness, so whether they would get a wound or not. Okay, then. So you hit him. So you shoot it, and it puts a big old hole in the fence, and you mm -hmm. hear, oh! So roll your damage. Oh! A big okay. old. Yep. So let's see. That is, let me... 16 damage. Well, I gotta calculate the wounds. So that was how much damage was it? Uh, 16 because he had a raise. Because I got a perfect 12 on the wild die. <laughs> Did it not? Well, it wasn't even, it was 6 plus 5, but still. Well, I'll just look. Their toughness is six. 16 damage, so you did two raises, so he's dead. Yeah, definitely time for the sand people. <laughs> and then I'm off behind the tree. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Um, why does everything be in the way when I'm trying to do this? I can put him back where he was. Um, putting on his armor. This gunman is going to run up to here. Oops. going to be behind the fence, actually. This guy's going to run. Oh, wait. He's going to roll his running dice first. That's what, 11? And Carlton is with me, right? Uh, yeah, I ran up ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm giving cover fire. So if you want to sneak up and, like, do whatever you want to do. Right. Ideally, I was going to set fire to the building and then maybe throw some dynamite inside. But, like, that's all with me now. Well, you're not trying to capture him alive. I thought y'all were trying to capture him alive. Well, I think we're significantly outnumbered. Right. And we are, but, you know, a bullet to the shoulder will slow him down. And he's talking about putting the armor on. Um, so, so they're all just hiding behind these fences here. Um, Colonel Angus, you'll go. All right, I hear you. <laughs> All right. Can I move? Uh, you can move your pace. Don't Next forget, y'all two, the two that was on the Preacher Man's horses are slowed down. So your pace is on minus one. We're yeah. slowed down? I thought it was the horse was slowed down. No, y'all y'all were slowed down. Y'all got saddle sore. Oh. <laughs> if you want to run, then if you want to run, what do you do also? Um, You hit the uh, running button. It's oh. up under your toughness. Okay. Hey, um, can you put... I'm gonna go back to my horse actually and get on my horse. All right. Um. Well, how far did you leave your horse back? Because I'm assuming that they would have seen a horse come up over that hill, so you would have to walk back over the hill, which is probably about two turns. Two turns. Yeah. Okay. This being um, one of them, and then your next turn would be getting on the horse and riding back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do a run then. All right. Let me see how many squares I can get under toughness. Be a running dice or a roll of d6 for you. 
I don't see a run button under toughness anywhere. Um, I'll, I'll roll it for you on your book. It says so where it says your oh nope. Lock it back. Uh -huh. Under under your derived stats, it says parry toughness running. Oh, okay, there. Did yeah. you want to roll it? You see it now? Yeah. So you can you go ahead and roll it. Okay, so you can run ten squares. Woof, 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 woof. The dogs bark. Um, it looks like they're, well, you can't tell what it looks like. Um, so y'all go, uh, Brother Fly. After you run, yeah. Brother Fly? Yeah, I'm shooting right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take my second shot at him. <laughs> I'm locked in a cover fire. You, you hit the broad side down? of this barn. Um, huh? Carlton, I think you can make it up without him seeing you. I'm shooting him. He's going to keep his head down. Yeah, but he keeps his head down. Um, Carlton, you'll go. Ooh, I got real big. Okay. So that gives you protection. That gives you what? A two AC? Or two toughness? Carlton? Carlton! Oh, I didn't realize I was muted. Yeah. <laughs> so I ran and I activated that. Is that all I can do? Yep. Well, you okay. moved and and you used that, so that would be your action. So, um, okay. so that gives you a two AC, right, or two toughness? Right? Yeah, I get. I think it adds two to my toughness. All right. So I need you to. Are you still trying to sneak? Um. Yeah, I guess so. And then give me a sneak. Sneaky sneakies. Not very sneakies. Uh, but he was shooting at him. Hopefully. I'll give you a plus. Yeah, it still doesn't matter. <laughs> he still, even with the plus two. So he sees you and he kind of, he kind of angles himself out the thing and he uses his Winchester 73 also. Ka choo And miss. Get out of here. Um, but the, and that's all he can do. And that was the end of the turn. So we will deal again. All right. So it's his go again. And he will put you at you again. Ooh. Five? Oh, yeah, five's hit. Um, oh, for so, range, yeah. Yeah, it will roll damage. Ooh. What's your toughness? It would be a seven right now. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is that is one raise, so you are wounded. That's a raise from seven? No, that would have to be a fourteen to be a raise. No. Uh, four any four over is a raise. On the damage or the roll? The damage. Four four over is a raise. So it, okay, so if I do, where's my things at the top here? Oh, I thought a raise meant it was double. You had to no. be double the toughness. No, the raise means it's four. So let, oh, okay. So wounds calculation. Choose the target. We'll choose you. Damage was eleven. Uh, so we're gonna say you're. Armor piercing none. Yep. Six above toughness. No, my toughness is a seven. 
Yeah, but six six is just under two or two under two. So the armor should have been higher than that. So, it, but it did. You didn't raise your armor on your character sheet. Oh, I don't know how. Uh, if you go to oh toughness, let's see. yeah, you go to toughness and then you can put. Yeah, I can't change it. It's calculated. So you should be able to change it. Maybe here. Oh wait. What? <laughs> Oh, you're doing it. Okay, I'll let you do it. Oh, here we go. Armor uh, 2? Yep. Will that work? Okay. There yep. we go. So we'll, we'll do this again. Calculate wounds. Damage was 11. Submit. No armor piercing. Wait, does that have an armor piercing? So see, it's still 4, four above, above tough. Up. Okay. Yep. So I got one wound. Yep, you got one wound, and did I already roll the wound? Yep, leg. You gained the slow hindrance. Do I have to put that on here, or just remember that I have it? Uh, you can just remember that you have it. Do okay. um, you know what it does? I guess it makes me slow. <laughs> uh, let's see, slow... Um, reduces my pace by one. Yep. And your and running die run. one step. So you roll a D4 for your running die. Instead of a D6. Okay. Instead of a D6. Um, Mr. Aguilar is his third round putting on armor and it's your go, slow guy. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know how he was shooting me because I can't even see him. You but... Can't see him? If he shot me, I should be able to shoot him. It's no, oh, he doesn't I, have he doesn't have vision on his token. But I'm I'm assuming that he can lean out the window and see you. All right. Well, he's sticking his head out the window now. Well, I mean, he'd be he I would be like that. Shoot. Okay, now I can see him. Yeah. Just shoot the fucker. He he would he would be oh, like leaning to into the window. What do you get? Oh, to unshake. Succeeds now. Yeah, you are unshaken, but you are still wounded. Yeah. So now I will use my bolt with a seven to hit. Yep, that'll hit. Well, actually, that does not hit because he's he's hiding. He would he would be he would have a plus four being behind cover. I say a plus two, so yeah, you hit him. Um, so nine, that will kill him. Was that actually Aguilar? Huh? Was that actually Aguilar? No. Dude, oh, well, you don't know. You you've never seen Aguilar. Well, it'd be yeah, fourteen damage, right? Because I had a raise on the wild tie. Yep. Well, it's not really a raise because he had two. He had two cover. Oh, on his side. okay. And then I will very slowly one, two, three. I think my speed is three right now. <laughs> <laughs> Get behind here. It's... All right. Um, the dogs will bark. No, it's four. Okay, I'm gonna go one more. Then. And. Brother Fly will do what? Brother Fly will run to the building. So that should get me. That should get me where I need to be. That was 15 then? Or is that? I can't see about up here. What's that? Did, I, did my running roll go seven inches? Yep. Yeah, you only roll one. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Quarterman. Okay. And then. Oh, go ahead. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, and then um, I don't see anyone else, right? Nope. Okay. Let me make sure you don't. Nope, you don't see anybody else. I'm gonna Quarterman. get my gear ready. All right.
Or man, you're muted. You're muted if if you're talking. No, I was. <clears throat> I'm just measuring it out in my head. Because uh. it's about twenty feet to where I want to shoot from, just to kind of pop out. And then <clears throat> from where I want to shoot him, seventy-five. Divided by five. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, and I'm gonna try and shoot him through the wall like last time. All right. No. All right, super bullets. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Nice. Super bullets. Uh, that hits. <laughs> All right. So give me your die, mofos. Super bullets! <laughs> Damn! <Nice. laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm I think say you got you his shoulder, too. I, I'm going to say you shot, and it goes through both of these guys. So it goes through and through. <laughs> Why does it not... <laughs> I gotta move him all the way over here to put a damn marker on her. Yeah, super murder. See, Quartermain, you're not useless. <laughs> <laughs> not when it comes to shooting at long no, range. Ex exactly. <laughs> um, apparently, I can hit three eights. So this guy is gonna shoot long range at Brother Fly. Brother Fly, give me a. Uh, oh, when it, when could I not? Forward. I could try and shoot someone else. If you'd like. I will. You do, But I, do you know these guys are here? Give me a notice roll. If you get a, a five or better, I'll... Okay. Otherwise, I'll just, know, otherwise yeah, I'll just I'm, pop back and reload. Yeah, I, I don't really know if you knew those guys were there or not, because they haven't taken shots. Okay, I don't. Yeah. All right, then um, I'll take my ten movement and I'll go back. Um, so, um, Brother Fly, give me a uh, stealth roll. That's what you hope for. Six. Nope. I nope. beat you. Yes, you um, did. So, so they both see you. Wait, these gonna... guys? One. The, these these guys. guys. Yeah. Okay. Shoot. I thought the wall was. I thought the wall was there. Yeah, I mean they can look over the wall. It's 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 only okay. like four feet high. Okay. Oh, that one misses. And Ooh. that one misses. Ooh. Excellent job, guys. Way to go. <laughs> Angus, you're go. All right. Colonel Angus is gonna come up over here, right? I want to be uh, lying down on my stomach. All right. I got my pistol out in front of me, right? Okay. And uh, question about taunt. Skill. Okay. Is that something I can do, like, and say, like, you yelly belly chickens out there are going to hide all day? Are you going to come out? Actually, do something, you cowards. And, like, um, make them see yeah. So that would just that would just draw their fire towards you. Well, I'm just saying it's taunt something that you can make somebody do something with your charisma. Um, How does it come into play? Uh, I'll say you have to get at least a raise on it to to do it, and and then they will have a spirit roll against it. Let's see. Um so if you if you don't do it, if you if you don't get a raise, that's gonna draw their fire towards you. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Now, being like low on the ground like I am, you know, that will give you a plus. I'll say that'll give you a plus two. Okay. I'm gonna go but, ahead. And go. But, but, go. yeah. If they hit you, it's a headshot. Oh. <laughs> Well, then. <laughs> because, you know, you're laying on the ground and the dome of your skull is the first thing that they're going to hit. Right. But they still got to get above my toughness, don't they? Yes. But okay. the plus the plus two is added to your, to your, to the four that they've got to get when they shoot. That doesn't go towards your toughness. Toughness is if you're hiding behind something. Right. Like if That's they hit me, you're yeah. gonna ask me what my toughness is. Yeah. If my toughness is higher than their damage, then they don't yes. do any damage, right? Yes. But laying down just makes you a smaller target, which gives you the plus two. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Um can I see anybody from where I am? You can see you can see these guys scrounge, scrambling around behind the the fence here. But you don't okay. know exactly where they are. Okay, well, guess what I'm going to do then? What's you going to do? Guess what I'm going to do. All right. See where this... This is a lantern here. Can I tell these... Somebody scrambling around right here? Yep. All right. And the hammer in this fucking area right here. Right. Okay. All right. I'm so, at a minus... At a minus two. Oh, no. It's yeah. going to be... We'll say it's at a minus three because they're behind cover. Okay. Give me six shots. I will. Well, you got to be standing up, so you can't be laying down. That's one hit. That's two hits. That's three hits. No, it's a minus three, so that wouldn't hit. Hold on. Okay. How many times are you shooting? Should be, should be six times, right? All of them. Um, okay, so the first one does not hit because minus three is not a good shot. Minus three will hit with that one. So that's one hit. That's two hits. Three hits. So roll damage on that nine. Yeah, you killed this guy. And then... Go ahead and roll me the damage on that 12. What is that? Ah, uh, that, does, that does not meet their toughness. And then go ahead and roll me damage on the 8 there. You son of a bitch. That kills him. All right. So I think that's all my gunmen, isn't it? Yep. You don't have to give me another second. I've got to go pee again. <laughs> right. Drinking too much beer. Carlton, were there any windows on this side of the building over here? Over here? Uh, not that I can see. It looks, it looks all uh, solid wood. Okay, I was gonna throw a stick of dynamite in the window. All right. Just to kind of cause more chaos. If the window's closed, it'll just bounce off the fucking window. Well, yeah, you're shooting out of it, so. You shot me out You're of shooting it. Out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but okay. like you know what a hard tra a target it would be to get it inside a window. Yeah, like, but not you if you're standing like, here. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. and even then. All you right. Drop um, it. So he that is the fourth round for him, I believe. It's too dangerous. Um. Brother Fly, you're a guy. 
So I'm gonna run again. Mm-hmm. All right. Up to the window. All right. Eleven inches. You should throw it from a distance. So like, if you miss, you're not in the blast radius. Well, he well, ran, I have a so... plan B. Okay. That should get me here, right? Uh, if that was eleven, yeah, I wasn't sure where you were at. I was right here. Yeah, that's happening. That was only like five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light my stick of dynamite, throw it into but, the window. Wait, and wait a minute. Away. If you run, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. If oh, you run that. That's your whole. That's your whole move. How far is how, how far am I from here? Then is it six inches? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where you were. You were right here. That's seven squares. Okay. No. Six could get you here. Six would get me there. Yeah. I'll go there. I'll light my stick of dynamite. I'll throw it in the window and I'll use a Benny. Screw it. I mean, I'll I'll take the chance to throw it, but I'm going to be using a Benny. Okay. You see how I roll. All right. So (laughs) give me an athletics roll. Don't have it. Okay. (laughs) Give me an unskilled roll. You can go ahead and move your character there, though. Yeah, not using the Benny. <laughs> Dude, All right, so <laughs> go ahead, use your Benny. Where'd you pull it out to? I don't even see it. Well, oh, there it is. Well, it's, it's right there. So I'm going to try right. to get in, in into this room so it bounces around in the room. You know the whole, the whole trick with grenades how you bounce them off walls and you're inside? Yep. Uh, so where do you, where so where do you want it to land in the room? Uh, somewhere right about here. Right here. Okay. Yeah. So roll me. Uh, roll me three d twenty. Thirty three. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a Benny. Their bennies. I cheat my bennies. <laughs> Anyone want to use a B at Benny against the GM? <laughs> that blow like a hole in the wall, though. Um, they can walk through. Yeah, but I can't do that. Uh, well, I guess I can't hold. No, I can't. I, I I won't be able to show you the hole, but if you want to walk through there, yeah, you can. So he, so you threw the dynamite in, boom. Um, I'm actually going to sure use. This wall, uh, this I'm going to actually use all of my bennies right here to save everybody that was in there. Oh hell! Guys, I'm down to my last stick of dynamite here. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna use the Benny for that guy, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this Benny. I'm gonna keep one Benny, and we'll kill this guy. Actually, no, roll three d twelve. I mean, it's, I doubt he'll live, but roll three d twelve. Yeah, he might work. <laughs> And then load him up real good. All right. If you didn't use the Benny, would would I have killed Aguilar? Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> um, gunmen's are all dead. Banks, you'll go. Now we know Aguilar's in the room. Okay. You said he blew a hole in the side of the wall. Oh yeah. Where's the hole at? Right where the wind is. It'd be okay. like. Hold on, I'll, I'll I'll draw it. So like all of this is gone. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's that's all I can do. Sorry, right guys, I meant to mute myself. That's fine. It won't bother me. All right. So this guy steps over here. Can you like ready in action? If you want to. (laughs) 
All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. since I can't go any further, I guess it, it, I'll ready my, my goo gun if I see anybody come up. All right. So both of y'all will shoot at the same time. Okay. So this guy is coming up to, so I yep. can see him. And he's going to use, actually, he's going to move up to here. And he's going to use his single barrel shotgun. Oh. Seven, does it hit? Uh, yes. Well, because if it's over a four, it would hit, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, four damage. I does guess that, that reshake doesn't... me, I guess? No, because cause it didn't. Oh, do... it doesn't go over my toughness. Yeah. So 17 does hit him also. Shit. But that, that doesn't four, go over his Four toughness. damage? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't go over his toughness. All right. Colonel Angus. All righty. Um, this uh, big tree that is directly south of my token. Um. Does all that tree cover represent like the the branches above like ground level? Yeah. Can I walk can I go through the trees? Yeah, you can go through the trees. Okay. We'll say that one square in the middle is the the trunk. The trunk, okay. yeah. All right, so I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I see anybody? I don't know. Can you see him? This dude. Yeah, you you'd be able to see this guy right here. What right there? Well, he's okay. actually right here, but that wall is supposed to be gone. But I can't take off the. Okay, I can see this guy and this yeah. guy. You, okay. Yeah, you can see that guy. Um. And so um, when you see this guy, you see this guy in like thick. So think of cat. He's got like this cast iron. Um. Um breastplate on and he's got yeah. these what looks like stove pipes on his arms and stuff like that uh, uh, his hands have gloves have thick gloves on them he's got this big like chastity belt looking thing on with stove pipes on his legs he, he's he's basically in a suit of armor he's like steampunk iron man yeah exactly that's exactly what he's like yeah all right got that other cult that i grabbed off that other idiot so i'm gonna fan the hammer with that one um all right so let's see i did that so i wouldn't have to reload a six shooter i got you all right let me roll another Shit. six shots for you oh, here i just did something didn't mean to do uh where is it here go and now um he's got armor and I know I'm minus two. I don't know what the other minuses are, but you just tell me if it hits or not. I will. All right. So that, oh wait, that's called, um, that hits, that's two hits, three hits, four hits. Five hits, six hits. So, I'll, well, you rolled seven. I rolled seven. Okay, sorry. So, so six of them hit. All six of them hit. But now, roll me six damage, and let's see if you hit his toughness. Okay. Uh. Let's see. I gotta figure out what is tough. So, so that hit, but didn't, but shook him, but didn't wound him. Nope, that didn't hit. Two more. Uh, yeah. Oh, 
that wounded him. That didn't wound him. So, um, there goes my last Benny. <laughs> to negate that wound. Did my Benny cancel his Benny? No. <laughs> ah, all right. Um, so that sucks. That goes all my bennies. I shake him at least. He he is shaken, but not stirred. Right. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me look for something real quick. All right. So, oops. And now I'm going to say, surrender now, Aguilar. I won't have to kill you, but I will if you make me. It's Quartermain's guy. And then we will redeal. Yep. All right. Let's see. Quartermain. And you get to go first next time, too. <laughs> Lovely. Red Joker. My first Joker. Quartermain likely couldn't see this guy because of the rock, I'm guessing. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see. Okay. You wouldn't but be I would, able to see anything that's going on. I would have been able to see that. I would have been able to hear. The explosion, yes. The explosion and everything. So how tall is this rock? Probably about five, six foot. I mean, you could you could see over it if you stand on your tiptoes or... Okay. Could I stand here and, like... Prop, aim over. Prop myself up and aim over it? Yeah. Okay. And I can see that everybody is trying to shoot this guy? Yep. Okay. Can I see... Can I get a bead... Can I get a shot at him? You can try. I can try. Okay, well, yep. that's good enough for me. All right, Quartermain. God mode. Activate. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right that god is. mode activate baby damn okay well that does not hit his damage that does not hit his his well actually it 60? does actually it does yeah um so that gives him one wound all right and we'll see what his wound is. Uh, he's already ugly. Head, so. uh, head okay. Removed. All right. Well, then I'm going to reload and fire again. And I definitely don't hit that time. That misses. No, yeah. no, four hits, actually. Four hits. Yeah, four, hit, four hits. This is. This okay. Changed. He's also massive. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, but nice. I don't get the bonus damage. I just get the 12. Yeah. Oh, nice. He's got two wounds. Yeah, yep. Quartermain the Sniper. All right. We're going to Langus. Oh, this isn't sorted. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is. Quartermain went first. The dogs... Oh, I didn't realize we had started over the turn <laughs> turn order already. Yeah. Turn I go? Yep. All right. We'll get behind this tree trunk here. Mm-hmm. And reload. Oh. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh Brother Fly. Aguilar, as a man of the Lord, I trust. Hold you on. gonna do what? You gonna do what now? Um, I'm gonna call in the surrender. Okay. Um, I'm using the tool back here and cause choking. Do uh, you have a Do you have a persuasion or I do. something? And let's see. I do actually. Let's uh, pull the sheet here. Why am I my sheet? One second. Somehow I closed my sheet on accident. Put the sheet. I don't think that's going to nope. work, but I will roll no. my spirit die just 
Just for shits and giggles. Come on, one. Come on, one. <laughs> um, no. And I'm no. going. Aguilar rolls to unshake and succeeds. Mm -hmm. And he steps out to here. And what you see as he steps out is a giant tank on his back and he with a hose running to a nozzle. Okay, my first action was to call him to surrender. Can I shoot at him now? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't know. If that, no, you can't, because he's still oh, okay. back behind this wall. So Okay. Oh, that was oh, his actions after my... Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. I Go thought you were it. done. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go for it. Go for okay. it. Okay. So he steps out, he unshakes, he steps out from behind this wall, and he says, Preacher man, I don't believe in this Lord. I want you to burn in the fires of hell. He's already wrote, hold on, I got to unshake. Um, well, we'll go ahead and do that again. So that hits both of y'all. I think the flamethrower is. Well, actually, I don't even think he has to roll. An regular attack. I'm only worried if he's using napalm. If he's just using regular fire, it's okay. I don't think that's right. Um, I don't. I think y'all should have to roll an agility dice to du duck out the way. Okay. Actually, no. I, yeah, and then I'll roll the damage. And if, if I'm not sure how it works, but we're going to play it like, yep, that doesn't work for you. <laughs> nope. Just agility. So you will take half damage. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but we'll research it the next <laughs> time I use the play though. Um, So six damage on you, Brother Fly? Ow. Does that. So well, my toughness is five, so I take what one wound. No, you don't take a wound at all because it's not over. It's it not shakes. four. Yeah, you're just shaking. I'm shaking. Yep, and you take three damage, which does nothing. And this guy's okay. gonna run out and tackle you. So we'll do a strength versus strength. Oh well, I don't have high strength. <laughs> So four. So he knocks you down <laughs> and he's on top of you and he uh next round he is going to to try to stab you with a knife. No, actually he doesn't have a knife, so he's just gonna beat you up with his hands. Um okay. Carlton, oh well now you can try to do whatever you want to. I will try to stab him with my knife. <laughs> And no, not. <laughs> that does not work for you. And we will draw some more cards. I mean, I, I'm running with a negative two here, basically, yeah, on everything right. that I do. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, did it not deal? I did deal. Did it deal? So it dealt. I'm still just okay. at the top. If one of my actions is attack, do I have an action to try to? Push yeah, him I'll, off or yeah, I'll give you an action to try to push him off. And plus, you get to go first next time anyway. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it can be strength versus strength again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he's still holding me down. Yep. So now this is now my turn again. It's your go again. Yeah. Well. So. Can, can I not do anything like with guns, I guess? No, because he's holding you down. But you, right, you can okay. fight hand to hand with a knife. You can punch him. You can do whatever you want to. Try to stab him again. <laughs> and then I'll try to get him off again. So <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not going to be here. I'm going to get him off. We're just going to lay here together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Quartermain. Okay, well, Quartermain will. Hmm. Yeah, because you can't see that guy anymore. Who can't oh. see? I can't see him. Yeah, okay. Sorry? 
This guy. Bad guy. Yeah. He's on top of base. Steve Buck Iron Man. Yeah. I can't see that. The, I can see the this. They're wrestling with each other. Why I can see that guy. Also. Why can't you see that guy? Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, that's Steampunk Iron Man right there. There, There is a guy there. I don't see why you can't see him, because if I hit control well, I can see him on your screen. I'll refresh. But yeah, I can't. From my screen, I couldn't see him. Huh. What the? Why is it loading that? It's loading a different game. Mm. <laughs> why would it do you, that? You're on the wrong game. No wonder. I hit refresh, <laughs> and then it just loads into a different game. And I'm like, why would it do that? It's refreshing you. Well, thank goodness. Thank goodness for good processing power that I can just load right back in. Oh, now I can see him. Uh, yeah, like, in my game, he was right here. Uh, huh. And I'm like, I can't see him. So I'm, like, trying to maneuver well, to see him. But I can see I think that I actually did my turn wrong last last round. You shot too many times? No, I shot too few. No, you shot twice. <laughs> yes, but I was supposed to take two turns back to back. Because I was at the bottom of the turn order and then I was at the top of the turn order. Huh. You shot? So, yeah, because I had a two and then I got a red joker. But I only shot him twice. I just oh. did amazingly. So okay. instead of taking an extra turn, I will just make it shoot so that again. yeah, shoot, shoot twice, twice this turn and I'll negate my reload. Yep. All right. So come on, God mode, activate. God mode, activate, activate, Good activate. Lord. <laughs> uh, so that that hits with the race. <laughs> you think? <laughs> but that uh, so, it goes off of the the frying pan. Most accurate shot ever, and I can't do it up damage. Man, An eight that hit. An eight hits. Yeah. Come yeah. on, let's hit him hard. And that's actually with the raise. Yeah. Okay. So with a raise, that's thirteen damage. Yep. So he's dead. Yeah. Sniper. And the other guy just gives up. He puts his hands up. He's like, He's like you got screw me. it. Nope. <laughs> you got me. Call, call your men off. I'll go to jail. The guy on top of me? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to lay flat on the ground with my head on the ground then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you killed Aguilar. You've got some nice armor there and a flamethrower. Mm. And mm. 10 pounds of ghost rock for fuel. Oh, man. My goodness. And so, are you going to loot all these other people? Yeah, yes. everybody. Yeah, we'll loot. Six, seven, I'll eight. start over here and I'll I'll kind of try and signal well, you guys that I'm going to try and I'm going to come around this side and loot all the bodies. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, um, and I deleted a ten, so we're gonna do ten times a d twenty. So they had one hundred and ten dollars in cash. They all had okay. Well, shotgun shells. We'll do a d twelve times ten. 90 mm. shotgun shells. I'll take those. Uh, Winch Winchester cartridges is a D12. And the Winchester in the frontier. Oh, so <laughs> so you got 10 Winchester bullets left. And they all had a Colt Frontier and a Winchester and a single barrel shotgun. Um in that room where you are at in this little barn here. 
Mm -hmm. Um, there was uh, let's see how much money was in there. No, we got to find that ghost rock he stole. That's what we want to find. But that's what he was powering with. Uh, it was a hundred and two dollars in a in a safe in there. That's all. Yeah. Hey. They like to drink a lot. Um, <laughs> and the unsuccessful criminals. That were they? They were there were ten ten pounds of ghost rock in the tank mm-hmm. of the flamethrower. Oh no, no, I just was like mm-hmm. how amazing okay. blood the money. And so we can take that ghost rock down. Yeah, and there, there's probably four or five horses behind the house. Okay. And there's these two dogs here. Well, we can replace our horses. Um. So yeah. that armor adds a plus four to your toughness, but it subtracts three from your pace. And you've got to have a strength dive at least a D10 to wear it. Okay. Well, I would at least study it so you can get the specs. And if we want to make more suits of armor later, we can, or sell the specs to somebody else. Well, it's not really that great looking of armor. It it looks, I mean, it it honestly looks like pieces of metal that he's collected from here to there and just put together. Okay. With, with iron rings, but okay. it's. It's crude armor, but it, it'll add a, it'll add, and the, the top of it is like this cauldron pot that they drilled eye holes out of. Yeah, okay. Nice. So, I mean, it, it's, it's decent armor that'll add a plus four to your toughness, but it's going to slow you down quite a bit. I'm not going to bother with that. But you're taking the flamethrower? Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, let me let me look. I think that's probably where we're going to call it for tonight since it's 1230 already. Um, okay. But I, let me... Uh, See how the flamethrower works. So, how many uh, henchmen were there besides the main dude? There were eleven. Eleven. So there's eleven Colts and Winchesters. Yep. And on shotguns. Shotguns. Yep. Does anybody want to look up flamethrower? And. Whoever's going to use it, looks up, look it up and see what it. Well, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I'm... Huh? I don't know if I want to use it yet. No, you can. I, I wouldn't mind trying it out. Well, I, I don't think you have the strength to use it. Um, hold on. I'm well, probably not. Maybe a 10. I don't even. Yeah, I'm like in a D6, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, as far as the night goes, um, we're going to go ahead and do your new. Um, Benny count in total. All right. So, I made a mistake. I was actually at, at 15 when we started today. I misread something. You 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 were at fifteen um when on we hand started the game. And, yeah, and you had seventeen. Accumulated. No, no, no. I have fifteen accumulated and one on hand. Oh, I'm a little out of it. Sorry. That's okay. So you had fifteen accumulated, right? And one on hand. one on hand. <laughs> All right, tonight what we're finishing with, um, um, Quarterman, you had. 18 accumulated and 8 on hand. How many did you get for tonight? So you have 20 accumulated and 10 on hand? Uh, No, because I spent 5 of them to get that edge. 
And so I will spend might... another five to go up a rank of spirit. All right. So you are zero and 20, correct? Yep. All right. Uh, Banks, you <clears throat> you still have 15 on hand. Is that correct? Yeah, I haven't spent any. Okay. And then how many do you carry over for tonight? Three. Three so I'll bump up you, to 18. You'll be at 18 and 18. Are you going to spend any? Yeah, well, I was just thinking about it. Does everything cost five? Is that how it works? Five, five, and three. Uh, the the skills are three okay. to move a skill up. But if you move a skill up past its associated it's double. dice, it's not double, it's five. Okay, so the attributes to bump those up a dice is five. Yep. And then what else is five? The edges. Okay, to add an edge. Yep. And then a skill to bump it up a dice is three. It's three. Unless you go over the attribute right. dice, then it That's is five. Fine. Go ahead and get rid of the music. So we can. So what are what are you planning on going up? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. 